When it comes to puzzles, sometimes experience means nothing. Even though I solved hundreds of puzzles in the past 10 years, I still have puzzles that just stump me for too long and take me too long to solve. And for those of you who are familiar with puzzles, you know that there's a series of puzzles called Hanayama puzzles. These puzzles are very cheap and they vary in their difficulty. And you would say, yeah, these puzzles are cheap, they won't be too hard. But no, there's actually some puzzles from the Hanayama range that took me much too long to solve. For example, Vortex, which took me seven years to solve. Enigma, which took me also seven years to solve. They're level six out of six, but still took me so much time, regardless of how much experience I gained throughout the years with puzzles. And of course, another puzzle that took me much too long to solve is Cast Cyclone. And you will see how this puzzle works in just a minute. This is a level five out of six Hanayama puzzle. It gained an honorable mention in the last design competition. The goal is actually very simple. All you need to do is to disassemble all the pieces and put them back together. How hard can this be? Only four pieces, only one small puzzle, and it's not even a level six. If you're interested in trying this yourself, I'll put a link in the video description. And without any further ado, let's start solving the cast cyclone puzzle. It's level five out of six, has four pieces. I'm not sure if they're identical or not. This is harder than the puzzle itself. <laughs> nice. Bam! Okay, okay, this one is pretty. It looks like all the pieces are identical. Oh, I actually see a small notch here. Right here. One small notch, and in other notches somewhere, another small notch. Hope you can see it. Might be crucial for the solution. So far only these two. So one piece with a notch. Second piece with a notch. How about the golden piece? Golden piece looks normal. Yeah, I gotta take this apart and uh, put it back together. Let's start the timer right now. Two pieces with a notch, two pieces with no notch. How will they come apart? That is what interests me. You see that if I put them like that, they can probably come apart this way. This is even more interesting. You see this? Not a notch, but a bump. A notch and a bump. Any other bumps? Yeah, another bump here, actually. No bump in this one, and no bump in this one either. So we have two pieces with a bump and a notch, and two pieces without anything. I can put a piece inside the notch, can I do it? Yeah, it looks like I can. Looks like so. How will they go out simultaneously? That's what's interesting to me. The arrows? They are straight, they are normal. But in the golden one, there's something different actually. Oh, and not only that, the size of the arrows is different. The configuration of the arrows is different too. This and this are symmetric, but these two aren't. These two are like this, which is different. And not only that, there's also a small cut on this arrow. Hopefully you can see this. Really small cut just here. How can we use it? That's part of the puzzle. I imagine there will be a coordinate motion with all the arrows at the same time, maybe. Oh, well, I'm not sure if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to make all the arrows pass at the same time. That's if it's possible, I'm not sure. Yeah, so the ugly ones have to pass through the ugly ones and the pretty ones have to pass through the pretty ones. So we have two pairs of pieces. Pieces, pieces. I need to say it properly so you guys can understand. Uh, the golden piece has to be golden for a reason, right? Why would you include a golden piece just for fun? In the prototype version, there was also a piece that is different than all the others. Remember to stay hydrated, guys. It's important. Ah, can I use anything else than these openings? Because these openings seem to be the only places where I can disassemble the pieces. There is a problem because if I try to remove move this through the hole, the solid part and the solid parts will just collide and and that's impossible to remove them this way. So the weird pieces have to be one in front of each other and the straight ones have to be one in front of each other as well. I will have to move some of them. Can I use the notches? Yeah, so through the notch this moves easier. I need the notch to move this in this position. Oh. I feel some extra resistance this time. 
So basically the idea is to remove all of them simultaneously and to do so you have to have the openings one in front of each other. That's a must. Otherwise I don't really see another way to take them apart no matter how I look at it. This means that these two have to be one in front of each other just like that. It's hard to see but they are one in front of each other so that if I take them apart like that they will actually be taken apart. So next is doing the same thing with the other two. The same thing, not too difficult. Okay, that's the theory, okay? Removing two of them and this will allow enough space for the other two to be removed. Yeah, so in the end you will have one piece with two pieces on the sides, one removed and then you can uh, remove th the other one. In the end you remove all the pieces and you're good to go. But we just have to do it. We have to take these two Move them just like that, just like that. Yeah, it's really tight. We have to use the notches in the sides. I have to be attentive of the bumps because they also block some movements. Okay, so once I've got them lined up, one in front of another, it's gotta be much easier. I feel like I'm so close. Notch, notch, here's the notch. Move it through the notch. Ah, so close, man. Oh, there's another notch. Okay, let's align the notches. This one too. Two notches aligned. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Here we go. No force, of course. No force, never force. Just a little bit further. Just like that. Oh man, that's so complex. So complex. This puzzle, this puzzle. Definitely deserves a level 5 out of 6. Okay, so close, so close to do it. Okay, okay, now just need to move it around, around the golden one. Ah, no, man. <sighs> okay, these are aligned, now I need to move these two guys. Maybe both at the same time. Yeah, I think I fluked it. <laughs> thought it was close to solving. I wonder if you guys can understand what happens in the puzzle. Cause I can't. Maybe this would be one of the puzzles you need to solve a couple of times to understand. Maybe actually the weird pieces and the straight pieces can come out one from each other. Maybe it depends on the perspective, you know? Cause if I'm looking like that, it's possible actually. Yeah, how about that? Because maybe they don't go out straight. It actually makes a lot of sense. This is the most silent Hanayama soul. I'm so concentrated, I'm so into it. Concentration is real, guys. Gotta do it. Such a strange puzzle. Maybe there's one motion to remove all of them at the same time. That'll be interesting. And also, it sounds impossible to me, honestly. They are all connected to all of them. So maybe there's two steps. Step one is to disconnect two, but... No, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. Feels like it's possible to move this to the side, like really tilted. And then it actually slides in such a way that the solid pieces don't collide, which is good, which is properly what we want to do. Problem is try doing it with this, something blocks me. If I can somehow make them all go one on top of another, is that possible? I think not, I think not. <gasps> no way, no way this will go out like this. No way, no way, no way. I have a feeling this will just like twist one into another. Like a super satisfying crazy motion, but no way that's true. No way, it's like too good to be true. It's too beautiful. I see something in my head, but this honestly feels too pretty to be the solution. Too pretty guys, too pretty. There's a bump and here's like not a notch. But you can see that there's more space here rather than here on this one. You can see that. You can see this. Interesting. And the same thing is here. So only on those two. This is definitely much, much harder than I expected. I'm trying to put all the arrows inside the structure so I can do some kind of movement to 
together with all the pieces at the same time. I can see some possibilities, but I am not quite sure of them. This should be the proper solution, moving them all at the same time. I really feel lost, I really feel lost. Relax, take it easier. Maybe it's also possible to just solve it by mistake. One hour already passed and I am still not sure what I'm doing exactly. Pretty crazy that is. <gasps> Wait a minute, there's no way. There's no way this is it. One, two, three, four, all at the same time, like this. Maybe it's actually possible. Should I just stop and think? Look at this shape, okay? One, two, three, four. They all one inside another. They all are circling around one point. They all gravitate toward one point in the middle. Every time I move them all to the center, it seems like one of them isn't centered anymore. How should I deal with this? It just doesn't make any sense that all of them will go out together. It just doesn't make any sense to me, honestly. I feel like I'm approaching my limits for this session. Maybe I'll take a break or something? Like, listen, this is the, the real deal. This is serious. <laughs> and I still didn't understand the real use for the notches. I can't even describe the chaos that goes right here. Let's see if the box says some hints. Each piece interlocks with the other three, while all the pieces initially look the same, there are in fact two different kinds of pieces. The design of each ring has been carefully calculated, highly restricting the amount of possible movement and creating an extremely puzzling puzzle, the pinnacle of a long line of challenging puzzles created by a master puzzler. I'm trying to maybe find a way to increase the space of maneuver for all the pieces by combining the two pieces with notches and bumps on the sides so that I have more space for the other two pieces to move and do their thing. Okay, not my first sitting on this one. We actually have more than two hours behind us with the cast cyclone. Maybe I can finally finish this. So I'm not sure if I will be able to explain this puzzle. Actually, after I finish it, I hope I will be able to. I just have to find the exact position for all the pieces and then they should all come apart together. That is the plan, but I'm sure it won't be easy to implement. I can tell you for sure. I don't know if I can actually solve this by knowing what I'm doing. It just seems like the best strategy is trial and error. Just trying everything, doing whatever looks like it will work until I solve it. My mind can't really grasp what's going on here. My special thinking isn't that developed to actually try and break down what I see and how it could be disassembled in the end. Even though, maybe, I can try to reverse engineer this. So the only way I see I can fit two pieces together is if I put them both like that. That's it, like that's what I can see. The next level would actually be, oh wait, ooh. What if this was a chain originally? Like what if this started as a chain and then they closed it, right? So if it was a chain, it means that each piece has to go inside two pieces before they go out. That is the logic. Let's assume this actually was a chain. First of all, is it possible? My answer is yeah, I think so, yeah. Second question is, what would be the first pieces to disassemble? That is something I find hard to like to guess, but the chain theory actually looks, seems, I mean, seems really logical. No, I wanna take this one out of this, this out of this, but I just have two of these that block me. I just can't do it. Maybe I can do the same with these two. Just don't see a way to only remove two pieces, only disconnect two pieces at a time. Just don't see a way. And from the beginning I was saying that I probably need a coordinate motion for that. So perhaps that is really what needs to be done, uh, which is very weird and very counterintuitive. I guess I can make it work. Oh, actually, look at that. Look at that, I feel like I'm getting closer and maybe I can even do the move I told you about, like disconnecting two of the pieces now. I also noticed that when I keep my chill, when I'm like super chill and calm, 
I actually solve puzzles better. Solving a puzzle, try to keep your chill and you will solve the puzzle better. Okay, I feel like I am in a good position from which I can do majorly important moves. If we screw this a bit inside, they will start disassembling. Oh, and then I can also move this one right here and then I can disconnect two pieces. I will be able to do it. I'm sure of it. Like, I know it. So maybe the first two pieces I can do it for are the pieces with the notch. That would make sense. I just need to adjust the other pieces to enable this. Like this to go all the way here, I guess. I always start wondering if it's even possible to remove these two pieces first. Oh, okay, I found the middle point. I found the middle point between them. If I now twist this to the middle and this to the middle, I'll be able to disconnect them. And there's only one point in the whole puzzle where these two pieces can come apart. Only one point. And maybe I'm wrong, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the two pieces I need to first disassemble are the golden one and the silver one without any of the weird notches. Because yeah, there are two types of pieces. It would make sense that the notches allow actually more movement. So it will make a lot of sense if these two have to stay inside while the other two will need to disconnect first. So yeah, I'm experimenting with that a little bit. Let's see if that works. I'll be very happy if it does. Okay, okay, it's so close, it's so close. So close. <gasps> oh! Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out, something new, something new. The golden ring went into the silver ring and oh, oh damn, oh damn, something new happens. Something new actually happens here. Bam, okay, so then start spinning this, just like that. It's not all the way out yet, but when I spin this, then they go a little bit more outside. Interesting. Finally getting somewhere. All right, just wiggle it, maybe wiggling. No, wiggling doesn't work. What am I missing? What am I missing? So close already, so close. Oh, this is where I'll need the notches, the bumps, I mean. It's where I have slightly more space. This is exactly what I need here. Oh, if I do the correct movement with this, I can release them because there's like a small notch inside the golden piece and I will need to do a small like twist and then I can remove it. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, that's one. And now the chain part, almost to the chain part. I disconnected two of them. Now let's disconnect Ooh, this and this at the same time okay but this is now disconnected as well Woo! <laughs> oh, oh man okay this one went first went out first remember this it's important bam oh so it was a chain it was a chain just like that um, and this is together with this and then this one got disconnected from here I think so this one was connected with this after being connected with everything else, I guess. So one, wait, let's remove everything again. Whoa, it took us almost three hours just to take it apart. That's insane, bruh. That is insane. Holy, bam. Okay, fine. Four pieces. Now you can see everything I was talking about. Look at this. You have a notch and you have this bump. You have two pieces like this, completely identical. Now you have two pieces like this, the golden one and this one. These two pieces are identical as well and they were the first two that I could disassemble. And the reason for that is because all the bumps here allow the pieces inside to move more freely. Now let's try to put it back together. I hope it will take me less time than assembly was. I believe it's possible. So first we'll do this. Now put these two together like that. Awesome. Now 
I can put this through here. Then I put this through the second easy part. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, I'm so relieved. I'm so relieved. Wow, the last two to connect are the full circles. Otherwise it won't work, like that's the only way. Getting these two to fit. Bam, okay. Get this one inside, just like that. And then the last two guys, we'll get them in, get to find the right movement and free enough space for them to get one into each other. But basically I was correct about many things, just couldn't physically do it for a long, long time. Bam, and small twist thanks to the pieces here is now possible now oh i hope i i didn't mess up at first because you can put them in two directions oh i really hope not i really hope there's not this kind of trick here because i won't like it i won't really if i can make them fit from here then i am good to go bam bam let's go bam let's go let's go bam Oh, and also look at the movement. These two have to move while doing that. Look at this. Bam, bam, bam. Out, in and out. Oh, that is awesome. Is it in? Yeah, yeah, guys. And the puzzle is solved. Let's just uh, move everything back to the beginning position because it's a bit cluttered. Got to move this. It's not like a long way, but gotta free everything up. So it's free again. Yeah. And the puzzle is solved. Took us, I think, a little more than three hours. Not an easy puzzle. I overthought it for sure. Does that deserve a level five out of six? I say definitely yeah. And even maybe level six out of six. Like this was, this was insane. And this puzzle is solved. And that's it for the cast cyclone puzzle. What happened to me there is something that is called anchoring in psychology. It's when you have a certain piece of information and you anchor to it and think around it. it happens with negotiations, it happens with prices, and it happens with puzzles as well. So when you're solving a puzzle and you're stuck, better just go away, take a break, and come back to it later, and then you will have higher chances of solving the puzzle. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you smash the like and subscribe buttons, because that helps me grow my channel. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.